How's it going folks? I hope you're all doing well. We've got a bit of a break in the weather, so I'm going to try and get these LEDs up. See what we can do. Now, what I'm, the plan is I've bought these. These are like, uh, what, 90 degree angles, but when they go on, they set the lights down so they're shining down at an angle rather than just sticking them on the van and them just going out everywhere. And these also have a diffusion strip that goes on them as well. So hopefully it should look a bit smarter. Um, I was going to paint these before I put them on, but because the weather's a bit iffy at the minute, I think I'm just going to go for it and then sling some black paint on them once they're up there probably gonna have to drill a couple of holes in each and then sicker flex them to the side of the van uh, with a couple of little screws should do the whole length pretty much uh, the only issue i've got is <clears throat> how these work is they have this little control module thing built in uh, this is what like connects to your phone but there isn't a plug and i don't really want to cut the wires so I'm probably going to have to go through my door seal, which isn't the end of the world because it's less holes being drilled in the van, I guess. But yeah, I'm going to, first job is to get this up. Well, all of these, I've got, <laughs> I've got a lot. Um, get that sorted out and then go from there, really. So this is how I've decided to go about it. Drilled a little hole in it there. And because of where the screw sits, the LED will still sit over it. And then I've just got to pile it the van screw through there and I'll put Sikaflex behind in like a patch so we don't get any leaks and that should work hopefully so the idea of doing it this way for those that don't know you drill a bigger hole in the thing you want to screw <coughs> so that you screw can sit inside it like that and then in the van I'll drill a hole smaller than this screw so that this will thread into it because obviously just screwing straight into metal isn't going to happen so this is where they're going to go oh. just above there so it's just above the line of the door obviously all the way along and as you can see they're pointing down at an angle now, so it's not just going to fire straight into the awning. So it should get much better light out of it. In theory, anyway. I drilled the first hole, managed to not turn the camera on, as always. Now this should screw in, which it is. Oh yes, that's going to work beautifully. And then we just follow the line down the van. I think the way that I'm going to do it, if anyone wants to copy, I'll drill the centre hole. I've done three holes in each strip. Do the centre one, hold it up. Drill the other two, pull the whole thing down, put the sicker flex on the back, and then screw it up properly. That's the best way, I think. One, two. Oh god, my hillbilly stepladder isn't really working very well. <laughs> That's, yeah, not ideal. Get some sicker flex on this and screw it up. So what I'm going to do is literally just three little blobs where the screws go. But also, once I've got them up, I'm going to run a bead right the way along the top edge just to stop the water congregating behind it. It'll probably act as a little bit of a gutter as well, this will, for the door. So, you can see, three little blobs. One, two, three, four, probably four and a half more to go. So I'll check back in a minute. So, there you go, as you can see, it goes behind the door, across there, and all the way along, but as suspected, 
and we need a, a chop at the end. So we can measure that and do that now. I managed to get the bit up on the end and now it started pissing it down, which is great. So we're on pause for a minute. So yeah, I just marked it up, cut it with a hacksaw. It's only alley so it cuts really easy. Right folks, as soon as the weather has gone to poo, going to do Marie's new solar controller instead. So she's actually going to have a MPPT now, which will make a ginormous difference. So we're going to have to mount it in here temporarily, uh, because this has the plug so it can take the same unit as my one, the little control panel, but we couldn't get it yet, so I'm just going to have to put it on here for now, and then we'll figure it out at a later date. This is literally just a case of swapping over four wires, which will be easy peasy. Not going to be able to see your screen. I was going to make that a feature one, but. Well, yeah, but not it's now. only for now, isn't it? No, why? Because. No, because when you can afford it, we'll get a screen, and then I can put this bit in the garage, and you can have the unit like what I've got. Well, the Follocks I haven't seen in your van for ages. This is like a, a sneaky peek here when you do a tour. Okay, so that's where that's going to live. Oh, folks, so there we go. It's connected up. Like I say, it was literally just a straight swap of the uh, straight swap of the wires. Had to extend one. That's why this one's red. That one's red. But yeah, it's working. If you look at this folks, you can already see that she's got more power going in. So the panel's making 2.2 amps, but she's got 3.3 .3 amps going into the battery. And that's what the MPPT does. It like boosts it up. So when she was on this one before, it'd be whatever the solar makes is what goes in. Whereas now it's running through this and giving her more juice. So yeah, there we go, success. It's decided to stop raining now, so I'm going to try and get my LEDs stuck up on that rail. They're literally just self-adhesive on the back. You peel that off, stick them in the groove. Oh yes, perfecto. The reason I've decided to do it this way is because if these break, which, you know, these kind of LEDs are quite susceptible to going wrong, then I can just rip the whole strip out and put a new one in. Because if I had LEDs gone on the outside, that would drive me mental. So I've kind of motored ahead with it because of the weather. But I left the last one open so you can have a look. These little clips go on quite easy, the, uh, the diffuser thing. So it just clips over the top. And then what I'm going to do, that cable, I'm going to route it into the door and then into the van, rather than having to drill a new hole. Because like I say, it's got this thing on the end. So Yeah, that's looking pretty cool. It's that one giant fluorescent light down the side of the van. So this is how I've decided to do it. It just comes in at the end there. What I'm going to do when the weather's better, make some Sikaflex plugs on the end and on the other end as well to seal that in. But fortunately, never thought I'd say this, my door seal had a massive hole in it. So I just ran that thing through and that's going to sit just there. But yeah, that closes fine. And then what I'm going to do is run a power feed down to that switch that just does that little red LED there at the minute so uh, and the way that you do that what it comes with is the DC plug so I'm just going to snip this off here and run those two wires down to here Okay. 
So that's now connected up and we are good for a test fire. do it again at night so I actually look at them properly, obviously. Oh, you don't like this, but you're gonna get one. <laughs> <laughs> right, so, just got the uh, video on for this evening. I think I'm gonna go take a little look at this seat on the bike now. See what we can do. How typical is this? Earlier on, when I'm doing that, pissing it down. Now I'm gonna go do indoor stuff. Glorious bloody sunshine. What are you doing? Got to try and make this out of. Piece of checker plate here. I bought this from the garage, so I'm going to make a completely scratch built seat pan here that's going to follow the line to about there. And then I'll bolt it onto the back here. Those are the original thing there, so that's the plan. I don't know if you can see these marks on the lens. Absolutely fuming. You have no idea. Had the lens for one day. You know that epic spark shot that I got uh, yesterday? Yeah. Melted the glass. So, uh, so I've got to buy a new one. Oh, I'm so pissed off about that lens. I can't even begin to describe. Normally I'm really good with my stuff. I don't know why I slipped up on that. Oh well, 142 pound mistake. No, I'm not making that same mistake again, that's for sure. So, as for this, mocking it up in cardboard first because I've only got enough metal for one go. I don't want to get it wrong. So, this is kind of what we're looking at. Now I've just got to cut it out without melting my camera this time. This is where we're finishing up for today. The first sort of draft cut and bend is done. And that is kind of how she's going to look. Roughly. It's time to test out the LEDs.
Time.